Welcome back to our Software Ideas Modeler channel, where we make diagramming with this comprehensive case tool a breeze. In today's session, we're zooming in on creating a UML sequence diagram, specifically illustrating an ATM transaction process. Let's get started. First, let's add a new diagram. Click on the plus button located after the last tab at the top. This opens a drop-down menu showcasing a gallery of various diagram types. From the list, select Sequence Diagram under the UML group. This diagram type is perfect for illustrating how objects interact in a particular sequence. Now, it's time to add our participants. Grab the Actor tool from the toolbox on the left side. Drag and drop it onto the Diagram Editor canvas. This creates our first actor lifeline, representing a user in our ATM scenario. Immediately, an edit box appears. Here, type in user to name our actor lifeline. Next, let's add another lifeline for the ATM. Drag a lifeline tool from the toolbox, similar to the first one, and drop it onto the canvas. Enter the name ATM. To illustrate the interaction, select the call message tool. Drag from the user lifeline to the ATM lifeline to insert a message connector. Notice how execution specification bars are automatically added to both lifelines. Let's name this Insert Card. Now grab the Self Message tool from the toolbox. Drop it over the execution specification bar on the ATM lifeline. We'll name this Read Card. Using the Reply Message tool, drag from the ATM's execution bar back to the user. Name it Prompt for PIN. Continue adding messages for Enter PIN, Check PIN, and Display Transaction Type Prompt following the same steps. We will also model the process of dispensing money. To do this, we add a call message. Select Dispense Money and Specify Amount. Following that, we incorporate a reply message, Dispense Specified Amount of Money. Now, let's introduce alternative paths into our process by using an alt fragment. Draw it around both lifelines to encompass the messages related to dispensing money. Then, click Add Interaction Operand in the context bar. We'll name this operand Dispense Money. Click on the alt fragment, then click the Add Interaction Operand button again. This adds another region. Let's name it View Balance and add messages like Select View Balance and Display Balance. For actions that occur repeatedly, we'll introduce a loop fragment to signify repetition within our diagram. Here's how we do it. Start by selecting the Alt fragment that encapsulates the actions we want to repeat. Then, double-click on the Loop Fragment Tool button in the toolbox. This action automatically wraps the selected alt fragment with a loop fragment. Upon adding the loop fragment to the diagram canvas, we won't rename it immediately. Instead, press the down key to add a new interaction operand. In this new operand, we'll specify the loop condition by entering until the user quits the ATM. This loop effectively communicates that the enclosed actions will continue until the specified condition is met, providing clear instructions on when the process should end. Moving on, to seamlessly integrate the process's conclusion into our diagram, we add a final touch with a return card message. This reply message, originating from the ATM and directed towards the user, symbolizes the end of the transaction process. What if we need to add more messages in between? Use the Move tool from the Common group in the toolbox. Click and drag down in the diagram canvas where you want to create space. Now, add a print receipt reply message. To indicate it's optional, draw an opt fragment around it. You might notice several execution occurrences on the user lifeline. Since we can view the user's activity as a single, continuous process, there's a neat feature in Software Ideas Modeler that allows us to simplify this representation. Let's fix it quickly. First, select all the execution occurrences on the user lifeline. To do this efficiently, hold the Alt key during selection. This ensures we're using the full containment selection style capturing everything we need in one go. With all relevant execution occurrences selected, look for the Merge Executions button in the context bar. Clicking this button will consolidate all these separate occurrences into a single execution occurrence. And there you have it, a complete sequence diagram illustrating an ATM transaction process using Software Ideas Modeler. This tool's intuitive interface and wide range of features make diagramming simpler and more efficient. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Explore Software Ideas Modeler to discover more ways to bring your ideas to life through diagrams. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Happy diagramming!